Does your Boston Terrier have bad breath? In this video, I'm gonna cover six reasons why this might be occurring, and then cover the solutions that you can do to help make your breath smell better. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. This is Bella, my Boston of over a decade. And before I get into the video, I do wanna do a little PSA announcement. Some of you have expressed interest in getting, you know, different merchandise as far as shirts, mugs, hoodies, things of that nature, with the catchphrase that I use, life is better with a Boston. And I went ahead and created the store. You can check that out in the show notes below. And there will be items that come across the video in the near future with those particular shirts and everything. So if you wanna check that out, it's in the show notes. I hope you like the designs. Right now there's over a hundred different items on there, but I'm adding new designs literally every single day. Okay, now into the actual video. Now this video comes from my personal experience as well as the experience of Dr. Well, veterinarian, Dr. Addie Reinhardt. She actually wrote an article on the Boston Terror Society website covering this six reasons and her solutions to fixing this problem. And I just wanna highlight those in this video and draw on my own personal experience. So her number one reason for bad breath is dental disease. According to the Veterinary Centers of America, 80% of dogs that are three years of age or older have some sort of dental disease. And just like humans, dogs can build up plaque and tartar that are gonna build up on their teeth. Boston's in particular over here, just because of their smaller head and everything, they actually have more crowded teeth. And this can actually cause basically crevices and cracks where tartar and plaque can build up. That's why they're actually more prone to dental disease. And this really goes with any smaller dog breed, kind of like a French bulldog or other smaller breeds. Okay, the second reason for bad breath is their eating habits. And specifically, she talks about like eating trash and their own poop. Bella here, she's eaten her own poop before. And I've talked to a number of other Boston Terrier owners within the Boston Terrier community. And they have all said that their Boston also has eaten poop. Obviously this can cause bad breath, even if they sneak into the kitty litter box to eat that poop. So the biggest thing you're gonna wanna do with Bella whenever she eats her poop, and this hasn't happened in a while, but when we would leave her home alone and she would go poop on her puppy pad, if it was there for an extended period of time, you know, if we were gone for a couple hours, she would eat it. So my biggest recommendation there is just pick up the poop immediately before your Boston has that opportunity to eat it. Cause she would never eat it, obviously, if there was an accident in the house or something of that nature or out in the yard. It was only whenever the poop was there. I don't know if it's a mental thing or what, but yeah, she's eaten it several times. Now there are products you can purchase to actually make their poop, I guess, taste less desirable. I've personally never used it, but there are some on the market and I will put them in the show notes below if you wanna go check them out on Amazon. Okay, the third reason your Boston Terrier's breath might smell bad is actually kidney disease. And I would have never thought about this. So this is what Dr. Reinhardt had mentioned. So whenever your Boston or your dog has some sort of kidney disease, their breath can actually smell like urine. And this is because the kidneys are unable to function like normal. So they just get those extra toxic buildups within the bloodstream and it happens to make the mouth smell like urine. So now some other signs of kidney disease, just in case you think this might be an issue, would be excessive drinking of water, peeing excessively, losing weight all of a sudden, and not wanting to eat much. So those would be some other signs. Of course, you're gonna wanna talk to your veterinarian about something like this. Okay, now the fourth reason your Boston might have a bad breath is because of diabetes. And this could occur Basically, if your Boston's breath smells kind of sweet or fruity, and if this is the case, you're gonna to wanna to call your veterinarian. Now, some other signs of diabetes, where you, if you think this might be the case, once again, you go back to the excessive drinking. They will be peeing a lot, and then they're gonna be lethargic, you know, just tired. So you're gonna to wanna to call your vet if you think this is the case. Reason number five, could be potential mouth cancer. Now, I don't wanna freak you out because everything on the internet, right, leads to cancer, but this could be a possibility. And if you think this might be the case, you're looking for any type of abnormal growth in their mouth. But once again, if you think this is the situation, you're gonna to wanna to talk to your vet. And the sixth reason could be puppy breath. And this is completely normal. All puppies have that, you know, cute little puppy dog breath where it's somewhat sweet, but somewhat stinky all at the same time. And this is because there's normal bacteria in their mouth at this particular age in a Boston's life. So those are the six possible reasons for stinky breath within your Boston. Pretty much the number one reason 
could be dental disease. And now we're gonna cover some solutions on what you can do to actually prevent this. But before we get into the solutions, always, 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 if you're concerned about your Boston's breath, thinking it could be, you know, possibly cancer, kidney disease, diabetes, anything of that nature, you're gonna wanna talk to your veterinarian so they can do an assessment and see what they have to say about your particular dog. Now, the number one solution for making your Boston Terrier's breath smell great is having a professional actually clean your Boston's teeth. Now, Bella here, we actually got this done just a few months ago. It's the first time she'd ever had it done. And Bella was at, you know, she was 10 years old at this point, which I do not recommend going that long. I personally didn't think teeth cleaning, you know, when our vet originally had told us this, this was a couple vets ago, because we moved and everything but they said it was gonna cost $750 to have Bella's teeth clean. At the time, I'm like, that is crazy. Emily and I, you know, we were still young in our marriage, kind of pretty much fresh out of college. I'm like, I'm not gonna spend $750 to have my dog's teeth cleaned. Now that we've had it done, it is totally worth it. Bella's breath was amazing afterwards. They do get that tartar and plaque buildup and just normal brushing and dental bones don't cut it, just like it doesn't cut it for you and I right? You do need to go in and scrub your teeth, but you do need those dental cleanings periodically. You want to go get them professionally cleaned. If you want to see what that process is like and just hear my personal experience, I'll leave a video that I've already done in the show notes below. Plus there's a way to save money on it with a certain pet insurance. And that's in that video as well. Now, tip number two is brush your Boston's teeth daily. Now, Dr. Reinhardt, she talks about brushing them every single day. And if you wanna make it effective, I actually had another veterinarian on, Dr. Tarantino, and she said every other day is okay, but you have to do it at least every other day to be effective. And once again, those dental bones will not cut it. You actually need to get in there and scrub your Boston Terrier's teeth. If you want a guide on how to brush your Boston's teeth, I've created a video like that as well, and that'll be in the show notes below for you. So you can go check that out as far as what you need to actually brush their teeth and how to do it. And the third solution for making your Boston's teeth smell great is dental bones. Once again, you're gonna pretty much have to do all three of these things at some point in their life, but dental bones is another great way, and you can give these to them daily. You're just gonna wanna read the box. Now, some of the ones that Emily and I personally use for Bella are those greenies. Sometimes the greenies, I'll leave them in the show notes below where you can check them out on Amazon, but we get the off brand, the Kirkland brand at Costco. So those are a little bit cheaper and you get a giant box. Whatever dental treat you're giving them, there are instructions on the box on how many you give them a day, and it does vary from treat to treat. So you wanna make sure you read that box, but most of them you are able to give them daily to your Boston. So those are the three tips for fresh breath. Just like you and I, take them to the veterinarian to have their teeth cleaned. You're gonna wanna brush their teeth, if not daily, every other day. And then the third thing, give them chewy dental bones. If their breath is terribly stinky and you're concerned, you need to talk to your veterinarian. Question of the day, why do you think your Boston Terrier has bad breath and what are you gonna do about it? Put it in the comments below, and this can be an additional resource for people who are coming to this video for the first time, and then they can go to the comments section and just figure out some other solutions and ideas on how to make their Boston's breath smell great. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel if you're someone who wants to learn more about Bostons, because I've got new videos coming out every single week. And if you want to learn more about Boston Terrier health-related issues, you can check out a playlist I created here with over dozens of videos related to Boston Terrier health or one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston. Bellaboo. She's out. All right, see you later.